Today's video, we're going to talk about the BoxyCharm base box for May. It is themed the Mother Nature box. I've got a lot of confirmations, spoilers, sneak peeks, and reviews. So if this sounds like a video for you, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell because I upload all the time, Monday through Friday at 12.15 Eastern Standard Time. And over here, friends, we embrace the hot mess and it is a judgment and drama free zone. So hopefully you decide to stick around. So let's go ahead and get into everything I know because it is a lot. This is my third time filming this video and I keep trying to condense it down because I don't feel like you guys want to sit and chat for like 30 some minutes. I mean, I do, but I don't think you do. So let's go ahead and jump into what we know so far. Y'all, I got pictures, I got notes. You guys know I scour Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever there is, I'm looking for you so we can have these updated videos. So let's start off with what we know so far. I'm gonna scoot over so I can pop this up for you guys. If you guys are new to ba BoxyCharm, the BoxyCharm base box is a $25 a month box where we are guaranteed at least $125 worth of product. Now we always do get to make one choice uh, in that box and our choices for this month were, I am like all over the place, the choices for this month were, try that again Rhonda, the Glam Glow Berry Glow Mask that has a retail value of $49, the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter Stick which does have a retail value of $42, or you could have chose the Elemis Resurfacing Pads for $59. So this is something, like I said, you guys customize so you're going to at least know one item in your box. Moving on, these are confirmations, 100% we do know we will be seeing, and this is the Jouer Lip Gloss. I talked about this last week for you guys, and this does have a retail value of $18. Now, I was on Foxy Charms YouTube channel, and she did show us nine shades of this lip gloss. There's potential for more, but we do know of at least nine shades that she did show us. Next, I told you guys last week I wasn't 100% sure whether or not we were going to see this particular item but we would be seeing this brand and this is the house laboratories by lady gaga eyeliner it's a liquid eyeliner with a retail value of 20 dollars that has been confirmed and we will 100 percent be seeing that in our boxes now i don't know if this is a variation or across the board everybody will be receiving this item but we will see it in our may box Next we have a eyeshadow palette, which you guys know your girl loves eyeshadow palettes. And this is by Beauty Creations and it's called the Cali Chic Palette. It does have a retail value of $14.99. And I will say this palette I felt is really pretty. It's just your, your standard type of neutral palette, great for everyday use. It is a nine pan palette and like I said, it has a retail value of $14.99. And 99 cents. The next eyeshadow palette that we have seen as a spoiler is by Studio Makeup, and I believe it's called the Ease to Wear palette with a retail value of $35. You guys. I really like this palette because I feel like it's definitely more neutral than the Beauty Creation palette and it reminds me so much of the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette which I ended up talking myself out of but I just really vibe with those shades in that palette and I would be really excited to see this palette in my box. So that is something that we may see as well as the, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, this is the AM makeup wipes. Now this does seem to have like skincare benefits to this and they do have a retail value of $17 from what I could find online. It does say they are a deep sea mineral vitamin C serum makeup wipe. So if you are into makeup wipes, you will probably really enjoy these. I personally never tried them and honestly I've never heard of the brand before, but I love skincare so I like seeing something with added skincare benefits in there. Next is the Tarte Micellar Water, which I found to have about a retail value of $18. And then we may see the Pretty Vulgar Uncaged Eyeshadow Primer, which does have a retail value of $22. And then the Tristique Concealer 
crayon and I understand that there's going to be three different shades and they have a retail value of $12 so I'm hoping that this Tristique is something that I can actually put in my waterline and have that like nude shade to kind of pop because I don't necessarily know if I'm going to use it as a concealer but I'm going to try it out and we shall see now this box like I said we're guaranteed at least $125 worth of product and it looks to be up to a retail value of $185 for May so I was pretty excited about that now there has been a picture floating around and I'll pop it up over here on Instagram and Facebook and all social media is talking about other items that we're going to see as variations in the boxes and I've actually seen a lot of people talking about the fact that it's repeats now my understanding is boxycharm does really try not to give us repeated products so I kind of understood the next group of items I'm going to talk about is potentially things that we will see that we have seen in past boxes but we're not necessarily going to see in our box if we've already received it if that makes sense you guys know articulation not so much my thing all the time okay so let's go ahead and jump into this now some of the sneak peeks that we see in this particular picture is the Baddington lashes with glue now this is something that we see we have seen very recently and Joe told us that the reason he went with lashes with glue is because we have requested that not just getting lashes but we wanted lashes with glue so this is something that is going to make its round again and we potentially could see it now mind you when he was showing us the baddington lashes with glue which i want to say was in the march box i could be wrong could have been april but i don't even know what day of the week it is half the time anyways he specifically said that that it was really important to take your quizzes because they are trying to go more and more off the algorithms quizzes of what we say we want in our boxes so I kind of feel like even though these are things we've seen in past boxes those quizzes that we have been taking are going to help curate this May box could be wrong on that but that's kind of the feeling I get with this so just because you received some of these items doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see it again next is the Moda five piece brush set and and I, I have like a whole bunch of things sitting here. I will tell you guys, I remember getting that five piece brush set and I really enjoyed it. I do like Moda brushes. They are very, very affordable makeup brushes. So I think if you see that in your Maybox, you'll be excited. And that's another item that if I get it again, totally gonna be okay with that. Cause I know for a fact somewhere up here, I have like the fluffy brush that I absolutely love to use. The Dose of Colors lipstick is something that we will see, and I want to say this was just in last month's premium box. I received the shade Glaze. I actually have it on my lips today, paired with a couple other things, but this was a really pretty, like, peachy new shade, and it's very opaque, and I will tell y'all, it is, um... It, it's a little too for me so I definitely pair it with other things but it's a very very comfortable formula and don't think you have to wear it alone you can always add you know lip gloss with it blend it together with something else what have you to just make it yours but I really enjoyed the formula of this dose of colors we will also see the appeal cosmetics gel liner now some of us received this as an eyeliner some received it as a lip liner I received mine in a lip liner in the shade Mood, and again, I have that on today, and I really like this lip liner. It's very comfortable. It glides on really nice. It's really smooth. It lasts a long time. I will tell you guys, if you want this particular shade, but you, you know, haven't been able to get it for an add-on or you haven't seen it in your box, I love the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner. And if you want a shade that's very similar, go with Cher. Cher is very similar to the Appeal shade. And a lot of the times, Gerard Cosmetics has their lip liners on sale, five for $25. If not, I do have a code, Hot Mess will save you 30%. It's an affiliate code, but you guys know the lip liners that I use all the time that I talk about is by Gerard Cosmetics, and I love the shades Cher and Sugar and Spice. Those are my go-to liners. So I think that's why I like this appeal liner so much is because of the shade as well as it's as comfortable as the Gerard Cosmetics, but I feel like the Gerard Cosmetics is a bit more affordable. So that is something we may see. Next, we will see the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Now, there are different sizes of this one. This is the one fluid ounce size, and I do believe they sell this size at Sephora. I forget the, what the retail value of it is, but if you wanna wake up 
with like the nicest, smoothest, plumpest skin. Check this stuff out by Glow Recipe. It is absolutely amazing and this is going to be making a comeback. You know what I am curious about? We had seen in a sneak peek spoiler the avocado eye mask. Did anybody get that in like April or March? Is that coming up? Because I haven't seen it spoke about, so I'm thinking we're gonna see it at some point, but I don't know when. Okay, so moving on, because I'm getting sidetracked, the Ace Beauté Eyeshadow Duo. Now, I received mine in Ice Latte and Cotton Candy, and I wanna say this came last year in maybe the June boxes. I know I used them in a look I created with them, and I actually have them on my lid today. I did try and use some of the products so I could talk about them again if I hadn't used them in a while. But I thought these were really pretty, and this, like I said, this was the duo I got, but I know there was another duo circulating around. I'll pop a picture up over here for you guys um, of what the other shades are. But again, very comfortable formula. They're really, really creamy. They remind me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, and they were really pretty. And you, when I'm tanner, I like to mix them and use them as a highlight as well. The next item is by Seraphine Botanicals and this was the lip exfoliator and this worked really well. It had a nice grit to it but it wasn't too gritty that it hurt. I need to use it because I used this matte lipstick a few days ago and my lips are still like hurting but this was very good. This is something we may see as well as the Hank and Henry eyeliner. This is the black shade and this is in Blickety Black, and I really like this. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of liquid liners, but this one I found to be really easy to use. Like, be, it's felt tip, and it's really, like, it's gentle, and it glides, and if you're like me, and you struggle with liquid liners, this is a really good one to, like, you know, almost, like, press in and stamp and then lightly go across because it's not crazy thick and it's very very flexible and easy to work with and maneuver and all of that. Next is the Aesthetica Brush Trio. I can't for the life of me remember if I received these. I, if I did, they're not up here. I have like four different brush doohickeys and I go through a bunch of different brushes, but I don't have it sitting up here, so I can't give you guys a review on that, but I love to get brushes in my subscription boxes. This is literally how I've grown my brush collection. Uh, next is the Grande Mascara. Now, I we, we've received two by Grande Mascara at BoxyCharm, and I'm not 100% sure which one we may be seeing. I'm hopeful that it is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara. I have this on today. It is so comfortable. It glides on easy. It does have castor oil in it. Well, both of them, I believe, may. Um, this one is the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula, but I love the wand on the Drama Mascara. And I'm really hopeful that if I do happen to get a mascara, it would be this one because, like I said, it's so comfortable. It's nourishing. And I mean, I feel like because I use this so often maybe my lashes are doing well I don't know I used to use Latisse I have it in a bit so I'm always happy to use something that is going to benefit my lashes next is the Violet Voss Essentials palette now again this was one I want to say came sometime last year and you may see this again um, you may not already have this I have to say this was, I want to say, one of the first Violet Voss palettes that I, at least that I remember playing with. And I really liked the formula in here. And I did like the color scheme. This pink shade down here, it's like a pretty, like, it's literally called pink. It almost had like a gold shift to it. I don't know if... I, like a duochrome. It's so pretty. I don't think my camera's picking it up. But again, it's one of those types of colors. It's one of those colors that you could really easily, like... Put up on your cheekbone and use it as like a blush topper multitask your products guys i know you probably get sick of hearing me say that but this was a really pretty palette really enjoyed the formula another palette that you may see is the ace Beauté scarlet dusk palette i want to say 
This was in our January box. So it was kind of a more recent type of eyeshadow palette. This was a choice item where you chose between this one and the other one. And I can't remember the name of the other one, but it was a beautiful palette as well. And again, the formula, really, really nice formula. Easy to work with. I didn't struggle at all with it. Next, and again, mine's probably worn off because this is like my fourth time filming this and I've had my makeup on all day. But this is the Becca Lip Gloss. Mine came in the shade champagne cream and i really like this it's very comfortable it's not a sticky type of formula it's just beautiful it's great to wear by itself so if you just want to pair a lip liner with this lip gloss really pretty you can use it by itself it has a little bit of a hint of a tint hint of a tint a tint to it and it's really pretty and i feel like it's a universal type of lip gloss it's going to look beautiful on anybody next is the wonder beauty illuminating glow oil oh my goodness guys i am this is my second bottle of this i'm down to here so i'm almost on a third i would be totally okay with getting a repeat of this this I love. Now, Wonder Beauty sent me my first one that I played around with, and I really, really enjoy it. What I do is, you guys know, I use the Dermatology Needleless Serum and the Dermatology Vitamin C Serum that they have. I mix those two together, let it sink in, let it dry, and then I use about four or five of these drops of the Wonder Beauty, and I let that sink in, and you just get this beautiful illumination and hydration and i i wear this in the daytime you can do it in the evening as well and it's just absolutely beautiful i love this stuff so anyways i would be happy to see this again now in the picture i'm showing you guys and i'm pulling a lot of this information from in the bottom corner you'll see that there is like some sort of tube and i don't know if it's the cover fx primer that we received in the past or if this is by pure ah, i just I, that one I can't I'm not a hundred percent on what that particular item is so if you guys know let me know down below is it a primer is it that by cover FX I'm not for sure on that like I said a lot of the times that just because we saw this in prior boxes doesn't necessarily and you receive these items it doesn't necessarily mean that you are in fact going to be receiving that. So like I said, some of the items I would be totally okay with getting repeats of. Also, I did want to remind you guys that Skin Store is still having their Mother's Day sale going on right now. Hot Mess does save you 25% on a lot of the items on there. Some of the brands are you can't use a coupon on, but a lot of them you can. So definitely check out Skin Stores for like last minute Mother's Day gifts or what have you. They have everything from SkinCeuticals, Soap and Glory, New Face, a lot of brands and if you missed out on some things at this for sale definitely check out skin store because their their site is pretty like amazing right now i've got my eyeball on um my eyes on the silk oh it's like a kind of like a bonnet that you can sleep in that your hair won't get all tangly at night i really want to get that and the coupon code works on that just saying i think it's my slip it's a silk bonnet Anyhow, um, by the way, just important dates I want to tell you guys about. Don't forget, Boxy Pop-Up is coming up. So if you want to sign up for Boxy Charm, I will have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So thank you guys in advance if you do decide to sign up for Boxy Charm Base or Premium or Lux Box. And if you sign up, you will receive a $6 credit towards Boxy Pop-Up. I'll pop up some pictures of some of the brands that they're going to have. They're going to have brands like Becca, Violet Boss, I think there was Foxy Bay, Glam Glow. There's going to be a lot of brands available where you can get up to 80% off. And it's not just skincare and makeup. There's also lifestyle products available as well. And May 14th, premium choices for June Box. May 18th, the choices for the Boxy Lux June Box. And I want to say, for some reason, I didn't write down uh, the Base Box choice date. So it must be around May 11th. I will definitely let you guys know. So if you are subscribed, turn on that notification bell. Check our community page because I do set reminders up over there to let you guys know when choices are available, when add-ons are available, everything. I did want to ask you guys. So you guys know a week or two ago, I showed you guys the potential 
picture that I found over on Instagram where it is a cake that it's BoxyCharm times Jouer Cosmetics and it looks like another brand takeover will be happening. Since that video went live, you guys have been sending me some of your quiz pictures and we have found things like a potential Huda Beauty takeover and a Tarte takeover as well for the premium box. Now obviously this isn't for May, we don't even have confirmation, it's only speculation that you know we don't know when this could potentially be happening, it would be amazing. Like I said, it's all speculation not confirmation, but I'm pretty excited about it and I would love to know what brand do you guys would you want to see. Jouer Cosmetics, Huda, Tarte, give me the order you want to see a takeover. Anyways friends, that's all for now. I need to hop off and get my boy to work, but don't forget I'll be coming back and doing a review for you guys probably later this week on the Fenty Beauty bronzer. I have that on today and some of the cheeks. The Natasha Denona Love Palette, Glow Palette. There are so many reviews coming up for you guys very, very soon. Make sure to stay tuned because I will be coming back and doing a sneak peek for you guys on the June Boxy Luxe Box. I'll give you guys more information on the BoxyCharm Premium Box for May. Lots of things happening, so make sure to subscribe before you go. There is a giveaway still going on on my channel right now. I will leave that in the comment section below as well as the link to sign up for BoxyCharm and a link over to the skin skin, the skin skin, the skin store so you guys can uh, pick mom up something from Mother's Day if you want and save some money doing so. Until next time friends, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! It's Thorman. Okay, bye guys.